Good morning everybody, hello, welcome back to somewhat of a weekend vlog, today is Sunday and I thought I'd vlog today because we are heading to our first ever IKEA trip of the year <laughs> which I feel like is always a very monumental occasion um, however, although we are heading to IKEA, we don't really need a lot, it's just more so some storage bits IKEA is really affordable for storage, I just need another underbed uh, box, a little box for my bedside table and it's just nice to have a look and to see what they have. We are in the market for a footstool. I've spoke about this in previous vlogs. It's tricky because we have two very lovely sofas in our living room. However, um, they take up quite a lot of space. Ideally, in hindsight, because we got them at different times, we would have probably gone for like a nice L shape. But, you know, they, they're they lovely. But we really would love a footstool just to rest our feet on. We're currently resting it on the antique chest that we found in the Cotswolds, which is fine, but resting your foot feet on a wooden <laughs> antique chest is not particularly comfortable so yeah it, it, it's fine it's all fine but we've been in the market for a foot still we've looked on facebook marketplace we're keeping our eyes on facebook marketplace but it needs to be a specific kind of like size and um, so we're going to swing by home sense just to see if they have any in stock because i've been in before and we've spotted some so there might be like a chance that we find one. If not, it's fine. It's just a nice day out on a Sunday. We've walked Maggie, had a little cinnamon bun this morning. That was so good. It's called Fortitude Bakery in London. We went yesterday. I'll leave that Instagram on screen. Oh my God, delicious. The queues are big because it's blew up on the internet, but if you are ever in London, those cinnamon buns, delicious. The new one, their new store opens. It's East, isn't it? Shoreditch next month. They do beignets, which are just <laughs> So, so good. Cream, I'll pop photo on screen of those. Cream filled. Oh, so good. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. But first things first, we're going to grab a coffee because I'm a firm believer you can't do any form of home or retail shopping without some caffeine. Right, first up, coffee. I've wore my Birkenstock clogs out the house today and I have no shame because comfort is key. <laughs> I feel like Starbucks always do like the best drinkware. Love that. Little sippy cups. We need to start remembering our little plastic cups. We'll remember. Fun fact, I've ordered this drink. Why is that even a fun fact? I've ordered this drink so much now. Like a caramel macchiato. Tall. So good. I even got Zara on the hype as well. I have to consider how you say it every time. Tall caramel macchiato. I deal with blonde Ross, but. No, you've got to pay more for it. I've been ordering it for years and I love it. Delicious. You can have that one if you want. Ladies first. <laughs> Coffee secured. Right. Let's go to Home Sense. So this is a huge TK Maxx and a Home Sense next to each other. This is the one in Croydon. So we're gonna have a look in TK Maxx first and then have a look at the home bits. It's definitely worth checking out some bits in TK Maxx because usually really, really good. Like this product, Savile Row, I've used that before. Fragrance was 50 pounds, that's 12.99. I actually really rate this works um, for like relaxing scents and products. I have their sleep spray and it is so, so good. And Zara's using their body lotion and it honestly is the most calming scent. It's like lavender, it's beautiful. 7.99 instead of 17. Just spotted some Hunter Wellies. 70 pounds instead of the usual 100 that they are. Actually, I just walked past these and I was like, I know Zara's sunglass style, but I feel like these are so nice. It's like a tortoise shell, but more like a 70s like feline vibe. So cool. And they're from very Steve Miranda Madden. Freestly. It is very Miranda Freestly. They're very, very nice. Look at that. They're 1799. Steve Madden. I think that's amazing. Do it. Really? I'm such an enabler. I've just saw some in Tommy Hilfiger, but I don't need any more sunglasses. <laughs> anyway. We're gonna have a look in the men's real quick and then head up to Home Sense. Just spotted some footstools already. They're quite small. Very, very nice. It's like a nice little bohemian style. It's the great thing about Home Sense, they have so much choice from like random pieces to everything. I like the sofa. Maybe something in this kind of leather would be nice. Yeah. I like slightly darker. That's a really, really lovely sofa. I've always been a fan of leather sofas. So let's see how much that one is. That's 650 pounds. It's huge. This is a very, very strong contender of a footstool, but it's slightly too big. I think it's like a meter by a meter, and I just don't really feel like that's this, like, that's just going to eat into our living room space so much. So and they do it in a smaller size. I remember seeing that, but I think that's going to be slightly too large. Very nice though. The tricky thing is if we go for a color, it kind of dictates the rest of the room as well. So this this would be like the perfect piece, but it's more of a teal, which is not what we're after. We, of course, have now gravitated towards the dog. <laughs> the dog section, which is always good. That little bathrobe. Oh my God, that's so cute. We love the jewels coats. We um, actually gave Maggie's to Zara's aunt and uncle for their little dog because Maggie outgrew hers. That's really nice with the bumblebees on. Still no footstools. I had to throw all of our lovely 
Hessian and Jute baskets away in the bathroom because they got mouldy, which is not great. A lot of people ask where Maggie's dog bed's actually from and we got it in Home Sense. Big fan of this tan armchair as well. It is 149.99. That is absolutely lovely. Naturally, we're here for footstools and gravitate towards pasta. <laughs> we are actually having stop it. Truffle Tegnatino, stop it now. <gasps> Oh my god, that is incredible. Guys, we've leveled up, we're getting a basket. It's meant to be a quick trip. I know. There's some more furniture bits down here, so we're still remaining hopeful. Very cool. Not what we're in the market for, but I like it a lot. This um, this mustard armchair is lovely. Big fan of that. That is cool. That'd be nice in like a kid's room, wouldn't it? It looks like boucle, but green. The search for the footstool continues. We saw one, and it was very nice. However, it was green, which we've obviously painted our living room green, and we love the colour green, but obviously, when we come to change, it's tricky because then it kind of dictates that colour for future sofas, wall colours, it all has to go. And we love the colour green, but it wasn't right. And it's quite expensive. It's £170, pounds, right? Yeah, for like a stuffed bench. For a stuffed bench. bench, which is quite... I know obviously, you know, furniture is expensive and textiles are expensive. However, it didn't, it didn't look didn't like it. to everything else no. that was in the shop. We are now in Danel. <laughs> We're ticking off all of the potential options. Very lovely Zara, yes. Zara's just seen this armchair, which is gorgeous. I also very much enjoy these wishbone style chairs. See, that's more of a bar still. I have faith we can find one. Maybe, I think it's just so specific what we're looking for. We just can't find it. Bag secured. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I had to literally run into Ikea. I was so desperate for the toilet, I think, because I had coffee and it's cold. So we were like running. <laughs> anyway, got the bag. Um, we are here for storage, storage only. And if I leave with anything else, then I'm stupid. We aren't completely writing off at Ikea for footstools. Again, very cozy L-shaped sofas, but we're not too sure. That's nice. Slightly too grey, isn't it? A bit too grey, grey on grey on grey. Leather, ideally leather we're looking for. Something like that far sofa and leather footstool would be perfect. That's a nice sofa too. I definitely have Virgo tendencies, but I am buying a box for charging cables. It just, it just doesn't sit well with me having them everywhere. So yeah, done. The one thing we came for, well that and another box. Ugh. Maybe our tastes have changed because once over we come through Ikea and be like, yes, yes, yes. But now I'm like, maybe it's just not for us anymore. I don't know. It could also be that they've changed a lot of they've it. They've changed their kitchens from when we were last here and I yeah. wouldn't say they're the most easy on the eye. No, like this kind of works. There's elements of this that I like and the fact that it's an open pantry, a dream. But then, yeah, maybe not. The most boring IKEA haul you ever did see. This is genuinely what we came for, but I can't stand unmatching storage, so yeah. All done. One of those. Two lids. Sorted. We can spot a new item in IKEA from a mile off. How nice is this mirror? That would be so cool for like an outfit photo in like a bedroom. It looks really, really well made as well. And the gold's not too gold, it's more like a brass. You guys can see that, it's more like a brassy gold. Really, really nice. It's one, two, nine. Did you used to work at a supermarket? I don't think you did. Yeah, I'll scan away. Don't forget the lid. Oh, maybe you just scan this and it comes in with it. Oh, yeah, one, two. Here we are. And we also picked up this for yeah. 25 pence. Guys, we did a naughty. It's not naughty. Though. No, I'm it seeing. Is a necessity. This is like a pipe. Last night we had a pizza hut, and today we're having a McDonald's. Like, but. The doctor said. <laughs> yeah. I'm going for a muck plant. I'm going to share some fries. And then we're going to go home to Maggie Mae. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll get my own. Okay. So good, so good, so good. There is something about McDonald's fries <sighs> that just hit different. Gouge. It's the little things, you know, guys. Little things in life. My burger, my little McPlant. Let's see if it looks anything like the, the photos. Ta -da. Oh, they filled that, haven't oh, gosh, they? that is full. If you've never tried the McPlant, give it a go. It's really tasty. We are back from Ikea, and um, I thought I'd show you the bits that we got. This is my new water bottle, and um, this is the one I've had for a year now. It's actually broken, and basically, they're really good bottles, but I dropped it in the gym, and usually when you click this, this kind of springs back, so you can drink one-handed, 
Um, but the spring has broken, this little metal thing keeps on jabbing into my nose. So, whoops, so I bought the same bottle, but this one's actually a Thermos one. This is the brand, it's called Ion 8. It was supposed to be $21.99, and I got it for $12.99. And I got some coffee beans as well, I've never actually heard of this brand. 360 coffee beans. But um, yeah, they're for my coffee machine. And then other than that, we just went to Ikea to get some more storage. This is for my underbed, just for... Um, some stationary supplies, and then this is for my bedside drawer. Oh, actually, sorry, I got some shampoo and home scents as well. And then, yeah, we got some twine for Christmas wrapping for 25 pence. Oh, and a new lampshade for the living room. I'm actually going to pop this on now because the one we've got in the living room, I'm going to pop in the hallway just to swap it off a little bit. So, this is the new lampshade. I actually love it. It's like got a nice, like, ribbed satin effect. So, I think that is very, very nice. It's black. Because this is a vintage lamp, no lamp fitting seems to fit it perfectly, which is a bit annoying. But I really love that. I think it looks very cool and dark and really nice. And then that's the lampshade that we've just swapped out of the living room. Okay, so this is the bedside drawer that needs some attention. It's not too bad, but I've just got things like a debobbler that I kind of need to just find a home for. Like my toothbrush travel case, toothbrush charger. So I actually do have a box for chargers, so I think I'm going to pop them in there and then use this for like skincare and things that I kind of want to access more easily so I can just slot it in. Okay, so that is much better. So all of these are mini hand creams, little samples. Most of them are L'Occitane to be fair when I had their L'Occitane advent calendar. Bulldog are really, really rare L'Occitane and they're great to just pop in like your bag or your pocket, especially this time of year. I keep a couple of these handy. And then this is full of charging cables, European plug adapters, camera chargers, that kind of thing. So that's gonna go under my bed. This box has kind of broken at the side, so I need to pop this in here and then get this all labeled up. I was gonna label these up, but because they're in clear containers, not really necessary. So that is my stationary supplies, things that I don't really use that often, but I just handy to have like solitaire, pins, that kind of thing. And then this is chargers, so that just slots under my bed. Ideally, I wouldn't keep this under my bed, but it's the only real storage that I have in this room that's kind of like out of sight, so yeah, all done. These are also the flowers that we picked up outside Brixton Tube Station yesterday. If you ever do pass through Brixton, we got this whole bunch for £9.50, and I've never actually seen these before. They're the most beautiful flowers. I don't really know what they're called, so let me know in the comments if you do. So we are starting a new series, well, we started a new series last night called The Traders. Oh my god, it's so good. It came out last year at the end of the year at Christmas, but we never had time to watch it. Everyone, I mean everyone has been talking about it online, and we were on episode three. It is so good. US viewers, you guys have got The Traders US. It is incredible, like genuinely so, so addictive. It's a group of 24 people, three of them are chosen to be traders. Effectively, they're trying to like win the trust of the group to get rid of real people called faithfuls whilst keeping themselves and their identity hidden. It's so, so good. Oh my god, it's hosted by Claudia Winkleman who does Strictly Come Dancing. If you haven't seen it, it's on BBC iPlayer. Oh, we're literally on episode three. It's incredible. I was just speaking to Zara about this. Both Zara and I are avid psychology um, enthusiasts. We both studied it for two years in um, at ear level. We read psychological thrillers. We know about like behaviors and um, like eye contact and body language and all of the interesting things that so like, I'm, I'm watching the show like I know I can tell a liar but I said this I'd be really good at defending myself but I wouldn't really be good at ac accusing people I just get really nervous also I forgot to show you this I got this at a bookstore yesterday and um, it was actually called books on the barge and it was in King's Cross so this is Gypsy Boy. Uh, it was, it's been on my list for quite some time to read it. I was very happy that I found this, ticked off the list. So I'm gonna read that after I finish A Little Life. Right, we've just watched another episode of The Traders. So, so, so good. Honestly, I feel like this is our new The White Lotus. Incredible. Anyway, we're having the first of our, um, well, dinner this evening. We're having some bruschetta. And we've got this gorgeous, Chia Battle Off, yes, in Waitrose from Gales, which is a delicious bakery we have here. I think Gales is just London, isn't it? No, there's one over in Manchester. Oh, well, there we are. Um, but their bread, their pastries, their coffee, you need like a bank loan <laughs> to buy it, but, oh, I know you can't smell, but it smells amazing. 
Good tip with bruschetta, once it's toasted, drizzle this in olive oil, rub it with a full garlic clove. Hi. And um, the garlic isn't as accurate as having it mixed in with the tomatoes, but it just gives it a lovely garlicky like aroma. It's stunning. There we are. Pomodoro bruschetta. So I've popped some pasta in the pan and we're gonna have some pesto alla genovese um, for dinner. But I'm just about to decant this pasta we got in Venice into these jars. So that pasta that giant conchiglia is all decanted and then yeah, that's for the ragu. I might film that next week, um, but yeah, delicious. I'm just gonna pop them back up there. I never thought I'd say it, Zara, but we're actually running low on pasta. <laughs> pasta is done and this looks so, so good. I've just stirred through some of the pesto we got in Venice with some ricotta and then a little bit of the starchy pasta water. No, that's enough for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. A little bit more. There we are. Gorgeous. True Italian, aren't you? Didn't want to stop. No. I am a feeder. And yeah, plenty for leftovers for lunch. Bon appetit. I am finishing off the Italian evening with a whopping great big slice of tiramisu cheesecake, which I showed you guys in last week's vlog. And a very snoozy Maggie right here that is just completely oblivious that a piece of cheesecake sits just moments away from her nose. I am going to end this vlog here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this little Sunday vlog. If you have, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll link everything down below that's featured. And also, please watch the traders because it's going to blow your mind. But anyway, lots of love to you all. Take care and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.